Titans coming off of a bye week. Third down and nine. Lacey getting some heat from the weak side and the ball batted away. It's loose. The Vikings say they have it. And they do. They're with a viral issue for the last two to three weeks. He comes up with the recovery. Let's see who knocked it out of his hand. Kind of tough with those camouflage numbers. Dom Jai, a junior out of New York City, a transfer from Arizona, stripped the football, and Brody Heim was there for the recovery. Jonathan Gonzalez is just one of four this season, along from 21. This from 53. And it's good. Gonzalez, a sophomore out of Apple Valley, California, connects from 53 yards. Montana and Montana State. McDonough on first down from the 29, going deep, could be picked. It is intercepted. Number 44 comes up with it for UC Davis, and that is Zach Jones. It's McDonough just kind of hung it up for grabs. Oh, he got hit. Kyle Devon deserves all the credit in the world for that one. He gets good pass rush on McDonough, takes his legs out. You see that there's some room there between Steve Cowrie and. Third down play. McDonough, touchdown, Portland State. Leading guard. Everybody forgot about the fact that there's a 6 3, 245 pound quarterback racing down the field. The kickoff from number 97, Nick Fernandez. Onside kick attempt, and the Vikings get it. And I think it was the kicker, number 97, who came up with the football, Nick Fernandez. Complete those passes. McDonough makes it back up, has room, stiff arm, and inside. <laughs> The shirt ends up in the hands of a defender for the Aggies, but not before Karen McDonough picks up a first. Didn't want to let go. Well, it, it started out as a disaster for Portland State, and then you see the strength of Karen McDonough. He's as big, if not bigger, than most linebackers, and he takes what looked like a, a sure negative play and potentially a field goal attempt into something very positive for the Vikings. Got some of that T-shirt. McDonough. It's a head down toward the end zone. Is he in? He is touchdown. The second on the ground for Kieran McDonough. This game say Uruala with the hold. McDonough picked off. Number 29, Patrick Wells with the interception. So they didn't get the fumble recovery, but they did get the takeaway. The second interception thrown tonight. That pressure was coming from Joey Lagarbo. So from the 36. Completion and room and a lot of room and a touchdown for UC Davis. Well, we knew that Keelan Doss had some speed, a little stop and go. Great job feeling the defensive on his backside shoulder. Second down from the 48 of the Vikings. His pocket for Lacey going deep. Has a man. Is it Doss on the reception? No, it's not Doss. It's Ramon Vargas again. Vargas was all by himself at the top. You see a free release. They weren't able to get their hands on him. Just a great match. So pass plays this half of 43 and 36 for London Lacey. Has a reception and has the touchdown. Number 43 finds the end zone. The play action holds the linebackers just enough. And you see Balju get out there. 240 pounds of football man that's ready to get over that goal line. You see, you see if they're actually going for the play here, trying to draw them off. They're going for the first down on fourth down. Tongo falls forward and has the first down for the Vikings inside of 245 left to play. Tongo. 25 carries, 102 yards. Shaq Richard now in. And Shaq with some room. A lot of room inside the 15. Pulled down at the eight yards. Lee Davis put 14 points on the board in the third quarter to make it a game. But down the stretch, the Vikings with that long drive ending in a field goal to seal the deal.